Well, thank you so much for coming to the session on the new library catalogue. And most of you know me already. My name is Dolly Young, and I'm the subject librarian for the Faculty of Humanities based on uh, Lampeter campus. So I'm the presenter for today's session. The purpose of today's session is to give you a sneak preview of the new library catalogue and to let you know how the change will impact upon you and your student. I hope it's not as, <laughs> as scary as this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, so what is our new library catalogue? It is a single search interface provides a gateway to a wealth of scholarly content, including print, electronic, and digital collections for all campuses. Okay, so the main point here is a single search interface for all campuses, yeah? Behind the library catalog is a single cloud-based next generation library management system, which will automate and streamline library operation, which will maximize the, like, all the library collections across all campuses. Okay, so the library management system is developed by the company called the Ex Libris, who is a leading provider of automation solutions for academic, national and research libraries, and is used by over 400 libraries worldwide, including Butlian Library, British Library, Princeton University, and the University of Western Australia. After several months of asking people, mostly students, to vote for their favorite name for the new library catalog, the majority of them have voted the library catalog. <laughs> Phew! <laughs> yes, so it's just, you can imagine the stress of trying to find the name for the new library catalog. So now, now we have settled it, so that's good. Okay, great. So why is it changing? Why, why are we changing this new this library catalog? I mean, the, the catalog that we're using, I think is pretty good. So why are we changing it? Okay, at the moment we have two library systems. So we have the system that we use in Lamperton, also in Carmarthen. We also have a system that's used in Swansea. So those two systems, they don't talk to each other, unfortunately. So what we want is we want to have one library system so we can talk to one another. That also means you can, your card will be used in all UWTSD libraries. Yeah? So it's, it's very, um, it will be more convenient for you as well as for the library staff. Yes. At the moment, yes. Um, but I would imagine the infrastructures for you to be able to get hold of books from other campuses will, you know, will be introduced. At the moment, as far as I know, you still can carry on requesting books from Carmarthen to Lampeter and vice versa. But there's no facility in place for uh, borrowing books from Swansea. But I, because now it's all one system and you can, you can start develop that. So we just need to have the infrastructure and then we are there. Okay. Okay, so, so the second reason is that our library is a member of the wealth community, Wales Higher Education Libraries Forum. And we are participating in a shared library management system across all Wales, which includes all Welsh universities, the National Library of Wales, and all Welsh NHS libraries. So this Wealth Shared Library Management System project has won the Outstanding Library Team Award at the Times Higher Education Leadership and Management Awards announced in June 2015. So it's pretty impressive. And both of my managers were at the award ceremony in London. Okay, so the third point, and that's, I would say, is the most important thing 
for us to have this new library management system is to make it easier to access all of our resources, again, across all campuses. Okay, so when is the change changing? When is it going to happen? So the library system is going to, the catalog is going to go live on 1st of March, and there will be a transitional period between the 15th of February and 1st of March. Okay, so during this period, there will be some, there'll be something that you can't do. Okay, so for example, for the staff, you can't place book orders during that period. You can't, for students and yourself, you can't uh, request books because we are, at that period, we are migrating all the data to the new system. Okay, so, so there's no book orderings, there's no reservations, and also um, books, are, if their due dates are between, for example, 25th of February and 6th of March, they will also all be due back after 6th of March. Yeah? Okay. You can also check our library website for the latest um, information about the new library catalogue. Okay, so where do I find the catalogue, the new one? Okay, few, same place. <laughs> right, so, but instead of seeing this, yeah, so you should be familiar with that, when you click catalogue, you will be seeing this. Phew! <laughs> okay, so this is the interface of the new library catalogue. Do you want to have a go? Should we go have a look at it? Yeah? Okay. Great, so this is not the live version, yeah? Because obviously we're still waiting, the live version starts on the 1st of March, so this is the, the sandbox, okay? The information is already uploaded to this place two months ago. Okay, so this is not accurate, but it will give you some ideas. Okay, great, so if we are starting, if we do a sim simple search here, right, um, let's type something like literary, literary theory. Okay, so that's the search, that's the keyword that we were using yesterday. Okay, so you can search under everything, okay, under everything, or you can already say you want to just search for Lambda Library, if that's what you want, okay? Or you can search Roger Bowen Library or Research Repository, yeah? So that's the university repository where most uh, the PhD thesis and master's thesis are kept. So it's there now. Okay, so if we just want to search everything just to see what it's gonna, you know, show us. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. So you've got the book, which is available electronically. You can view online. And then that should then take you to Dawson. Okay, because we are in sandbox, I can't actually go out. Okay, but it should then take you out there. And then you can look at more details. Okay, so this is electronic books. But if you want to look for physical books on our shelves in Lampeter, mm -hmm. You can then already limit that. So let me just close this. And, uh, okay, let me search again. So you have an option to limit to Lampeter Library, okay? So when you do that, it actually will show you the books that are physically there on the shelves, or they are available electronically, but also there is a physical copy on, on the shelves in the library. Okay, so for example, this one, you can click into it, okay, so it gives you the details. You can look at what we have, so it's already, uh, right, this gives you more information about um, how many copies we have, and, it's, and the call number is 801CUL. Okay, here you have uh, virtual browse, that's a new functions. So can you see what's happening? It actually mirroring the, the books on the shelves. Okay, we've, we've got some teething problems with this because some books, it doesn't give you the actual thing. 
it's, they're still trying to work out what the problem is. But yeah, for some books like this one, it's, you know, it sh does show you. So it's almost inside like Amazon. Because you see, what I do is I have Amazon up at the same time if I'm looking. Amazon? Right, okay, I think there is a function there. So Let me... Yeah. I think there, there is something, I have seen it. Um, I might not be able to find it here straight away. Oh, can you see, if you go to details on the right hand side, can you see all the links options? You can actually see the items in Amazon. Also to WorldCat, if that's, you know, that's the, the catalog that we, we're using. The existing library catalog is the WorldCat. But if you go there, obviously, you're not going to see our collections. It's just a WorldCat, you know, um, information. So that, that's quite useful for you, isn't it? Cool. Okay, so with this, for example, you can, you can do several things with this particular record. You can add add it to your e-shell. So what you can do is you can log in as yourself. So if you go to, so if I log in, see if you'll let me. So unfortunately, uh, as far as I know, your, um, your login details will not be ready on the 1st of March because they're trying to make sure all the students' details are there. So I think they can access all the e-resources e and everything with their login detail, the, you know, the university email address and their password. So that should work. As far as I know, yours won't in time, but they're trying to you know, make sure that they can, so maybe just wait for a few days. If it doesn't work on day one, when you're trying to look for electronic books and access the journals, if it doesn't work, then maybe just wait for a few days. Or, you know, if, if you really desperately need it, then just let me know. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so I log in as myself. So you can see now it knows my name. And if I then go into in library, oh, okay. It now tells me this policy things. So, yeah, okay. And then, so if I go, want to go to my e-shelf, I can then take this to my e-shelf, if that's what I want to do. Okay, so you can do various things once you log in as yourself. But if you don't log in yourself, obviously you still can look up for books and journal articles. That's not a problem. Great, okay, so I'm going to just stop here because then we can look more. Is that okay? Do you have any question? Okay, so happy so far. No, you just need to write down that number, perhaps. That's the Dewey, Dewey classification system, yeah. So it's 100, 200, 300, yeah. So, so yeah, so it's quite straightforward. Yeah, so it's, it's great for browsing. So if you've got 801, you know that's kind of literary theory. When you go to the shelf, you can look at books there that are all about literary theory. So that's very helpful. Okay, so I'm going to just going to go back to my uh, PowerPoint. So um, let's just close that. Okay. Great. So what can it do? So you have already seen some. So it has a single search interface, and then you can limit to your library if you want to. It gives you the results for print and online resources. So here we have peer-reviewed journals. So those would be the journal articles, yeah, the peer-reviewed ones. The full text online, so that would include e-books as well as like chapters and journal articles. Then you have the physical items, so that would include, you know, the printed books and journals. Okay, you can reserve items which are on loan. So this one that is out and therefore I then will then just be able to request it. So it will pop up when you click request. And then, um, you know, it should then allow you to say, I want the book to be in Lampeter. This one, for example, is actually uh, a CD in Carmarthen. It will give you an option to 
to bring it over to Lampeter. Yeah? The ability to request items which are not part of our stock, so it's saying, you know, similar. So this one is available in Carmarthen, and again, it will give you the, the option to request it. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I was hoping the error will come. Right, and you can access your library account. So as I, if you log in, then it will, you know, you'll be able to go to your account and you'll be able to renew your books and do various things. You can also view your loan histories. So the ones that you've just seen is the list of active loans, but then you've got the, um, the historical ones, so the ones you already borrowed. Okay, so for example, the slides before, I had 11 books on loan, but I actually then returned the three books. So now I've got the three books which are already borrowed and returned, okay? So this is a, a, a new thing for Lampeter, okay? But obviously, you won't see the loan history from the, the, the system we're using now because we don't have that kind of data. So it's not, there's no data to move across. Okay, so it's just from the new library catalog that you will be able to view your history. Okay, great. So, what are the, so that's the new benefits. And what are the other new benefits that we have for the new library catalog? Okay you can search across all campuses the electronic journals. So that's very helpful. So before we couldn't look at the, uh, the journals subscribed by Swansea, and now we can, okay? And they couldn't do the same from us either before. Now they can. You can do the same thing with e-books. So it doesn't matter who subscribed, you know, who bought the books, we can all access, be able to access them. You can personalize your account, you can set up alerts, you can save queries, add page to your e-shelf. So create a collection of books and journal articles on your own e-shelf, so that might be very useful. As far as I know, you can't send that list of e-shelf to other people, so you can't really share it. Um, so, great, okay, so virtual shell browsing, so that's quite useful. And what else? Okay, so at in, um, the catalog has got this feature which is called top 10 trending articles. I will show you in a minute. Um, but I don't find, I'm, I'm not sure how useful this is because, um, because it actually hasn't got a category for humanities. This, is, this, is, this example here is for so sociology, so social sciences. Um, but I haven't, I didn't, find a category for humanities and also I can't see any articles that are relevant to what we're doing here so but you know um, because the the way they select these articles are from the the community that the ex libris community worldwide so that's how they select the the articles um, so but you know that might be something you can look at it's uh, the interface can also, can also be avail is available in Welsh, so, so you can change it to a Welsh mode. Okay, and there's a spelling checker, which is very, very useful. So if you haven't uh, spelled the, the words correctly, it will then ask you, did you mean, yeah? Okay, but if you, if you really weigh out, then you wouldn't be able to guess. Okay, so it has to within reason. Okay. So you already seen that there, there are various things you can do. You can ac so access and export citation. So there is a function citation. At the moment, there are three citation styles, and is the one. Of, so you, I'll show you in a minute. And unfortunately, Harvard is not there. So the um, so they're hoping that they will be able to add that. Okay, and you can. Um, import the records to one of the citation tools, yeah? Okay, so for example, records, which is the one we are supporting here. Okay, there's a potential to search across all wealth communities. So before we were using that, the tab on the left-hand side, the University of Wales Trinity St. David. So this is the, the tab on the right-hand side, which is the wealth search. But we will need to wait for 
all the institutions who are participating for, the, for this project to upload all their data. So we're doing ours now, yeah? So once everybody's data is there, then we'll be able to search their, their sources as well. So there is a potential of, you know, could be borrowing their materials, but that's much further ahead now. Okay, so another amazing benefit for the new library catalog is it will actually do uh, automatic renewals. So in theory, you won't, you should not have any fines. But okay, there's a catch here because it only automatically renew your books if they are on normal, normal loan books, yeah? So three weeks loans or six weeks for, for you guys. Uh, or one week loan, so only these two types. So the automatic renewal does not cover the one day loan or two days loan or three hour loans. Because it might be just slightly confusing for, for some people, but hopefully we'll get used to it. So the automatic renewals were just for the normal loan and one week loan. And what it does is it's going to renew those books two days before the due date. Again, that might be a bit confusing, I don't know, because then you imagine on that day and then three weeks, three weeks, but it's actually moved two days ahead every single time it does the renewal. Okay, so obviously it won't renew it if somebody else wants it, then it will send you an email to let you know. And again, that might be a bit tricky because it renewed two days before the due date. If you can't do it, send you an email, so you only got two days to bring the book back yeah so so you still need to be aware even though you know that, that there's this function yeah you happy with that <laughs> okay great okay so let's have a look at the um, new library catalog again great so this time because somebody give me a, a, a term a search term should we try Welsh castles. Brilliant. Should we do that? Should we just search everything under everything? Okay. Right, so there are 4,094 items that found. Okay, so the first one we, we know that is um, in Carmarthen, but also in other locations. So if that is confusing for us, then we will just look at Lampeter Library. So we've got 36. Okay, so this, this one obviously we have got, so if we go into the library, we'll see Lampeter. Okay, so we have got it. Okay, and that's the number. Everybody got different numbers, you see. <laughs> right, okay, and you can look at more details. Okay, table of contents, if you want to go into it. Virtual browse, let's see if it's there. So, so you see, this one doesn't give you the right place is it revert to the beginning, 097. So that's, that's the pro one of the problems that we're still trying to overcome is, is it doesn't, you know, it doesn't actually show the, the, at the right sequence, which is a shame, but it, hopefully it will, you know, it will um, be mended. Right, so actions, again, add to e-shelves. You can email yourself to yourself. You can print, you can uh, have a, a U URL link for this particular item. So for example, if you want to link that book to your student, you need to give them this URL address, yeah? Citation, which I'm showing you now. Okay, so we got three here. APA, Chicago, and MLA. Unfortunately, we don't use any of these in Lampeter. So, so hopefully uh, we will be able to, you know, they're going to add the Harvard. I don't know whether they will, they will add the MHRA, which is what most of you use, isn't it? So I think probably you would try to use, if you want to just grab the, the, the citation, you probably use the MLA, and then you would then need to just convert it to the MHRA if you want to do that. Or you can just then take the whole thing to RefWorks. Yeah, so then RefWorks will do the rest for you. Okay, so, oh, the reference. Yes. 
Okay, so RefWorks is a citation management tool. So if you take that records to RefWorks, you build your own references, and RefWorks would then create a bibliography in whatever style you wanted. So it has got 3,000 citation styles, including MHRA, including you know, what we're using here. So it will do it for you. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, so you can see that you, could, you can limit them to locations. And so there are more things that you can, you know, you can do to it. You can also do advanced search. So you can then add, um, you know, to be more specific, the titles and the author. So that what makes it, you know, uh, more precise. Okay, so let's look at the things at the top here. So we, so if we go home, that's where we are. If we go to A to Z e-journals, this is the one that you can search across all campuses. So, for example, if we if we search something, east and west, I know we got this. Okay, so so that's the first one. So you can see, I mean, it, it's okay. The the you know, it slight, looks slightly confusing for me, but there are different options. Yeah, so full text available at EBSCO, available from 1990, but the most recent one year is not available. So it's only up to 2015, you know, January 2015. And then, but if you want to see an older, much, you know, sort of archival material, then you can access JSTOR because it's available from 1951. Yeah, so it's still got different choices. Um, then you can then say, okay, I want to go to EBSCO. I don't think it's going to let me because, oh, okay, good. So we are here. Great. Um, because I also log in as myself, and therefore it doesn't, it doesn't give you give me the you know the authentication page. Do you remember with our catalog, you have to actually it takes you to authentication page, and then you log in, and then it takes you to the the ebooks. If you log in already, and then you then click to one of the ebooks or e-journals, you already know who you are, so that's fine. So it will just take you directly. So that's a, a you know advantage, I would say. Great, well that's good. So it's all there, different years. Right, okay, um, what else? So we got the A to Z e-journals. We got online library. Okay, so uh, some of the electronic journals are not part of our, um, this new library catalog. So you still have to go out to find it. Okay, so for example, if you want to look at databases, so if you want to look at JSTOR, if you want to go to Atla, if you want to go to Project Muse, some of those articles from them obviously will be discovered here, you know, in within our library catalog. But if you want to go, if you want to go directly to JSTOR, you have to go out. Okay, so that's where you that's where you need to do. You go to online library, which will then take you to this familiar page, yeah. And then you just need to go to Carmarthen, Lampeter, and London Online Library and A to Z. So that's the same, it doesn't change. Okay, so just let you know that, um, that if you want to go to databases, then you need to go out. But if you're searching journal articles, then you should be fine. Okay. Great, oh, right, let's just go back. Okay, so help, yes, so it's quite useful if you want to, you know, do some, um, if you're not quite sure their various things will give you more information, yeah? So the, the system called Primo, if you like, uh, if you want to know the name, so that's, um, that's what the, the Ex Libras call the, the catalog Primo. So that's why it says, welcome to Primo online help. Okay, and so you can change to a Welsh mode, so that's there. Great, better change it back. Okay, so, right, so let's look at my account. So I need to sign in because at the moment it's a guest, so I'm going to sign in again.
Okay, so now I'm, I'm here, I got eight books, so I should then be able to renew all of them. Okay, that sounds good to me. Okay, so now the books are due on the 17th of March. So okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, so, so yeah, so that's, um, you can, there are various things that you can go into, you know, if there are things that you need to know, so like fines or, you know, personal settings. Um, I haven't really changed anything here, so probably, you know, it's fine. Great. Um, so that's the e-shelf, so that I already got some books here. And again, you can email to, to yourself, you can print, you can take them to RefWorks, yeah? Okay, so I think that's kind of the, you know, the, the gist of um, what I would like to show you for the uh, library catalogue. Is there anything else that you want to know? <laughs> Yes. Um, how does that play into the system? The advanced search? Yeah. So okay. Like right. So what sort of things do you do? Because I find the current one very clunky, but the search the archives, because the archives are... Really the archive, is that the Roderick Bowen yeah, Library? Bowen, yeah. Okay. Well, the Roderick Bowen Library has got a, 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 its own... Um, it's its own thing, like it does now. Yeah. But it doesn't... It doesn't do it doesn't well. Do okay. <laughs> That might be something that we have to look further. I mean, I know that if you, so if we go home, so what happened if we search here? Should we try? Yeah. Okay, so. so. I know you've got the Lamp of Bible so Okay. Like right. You yeah, so one of the main, main things that we got in the archive. Oh no! So if you can find it, that'd be great. Alright, okay. Yeah. Oh dear. Number one, it's and it's not there. Okay, I think that sounds like a cataloging record and problem. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm afraid so I won't be able to. Yeah, that's fine. I think so that is something. Yeah, yeah. I think unfortunately with the Roger Bowen Library's um, records, I think they need to, there, there's something need to be done for it to be more uh, discoverable, if you like, to be more searchable, to be more user friendly. Yeah. So. But yeah, but it's good that I can you know feed that back to to them, so they you know to make it easier for for people to find that because it is a shame that it's there and you can't find it. So, you know, yeah. Great, okay, um, let me just have a look, see what else. So, okay, so let's go back to my PowerPoint if you haven't got any other question. So you're all happy so far? You <laughs> happy with the new library catalog, what it, what it does? Yeah. yeah, okay, cool, great, I'm very pleased. Right, okay, so. So we've done the simple search, and that is the advanced one. And you have looked at my account, the database which ha you have to go out in order to access. So click the online library. Okay, yeah, usual place. So what happens between now and March the 1st? Okay, so if you want to order any books, it's finished. Okay, so you can't order books until 8th of March now. So we just, we've done the last orders like two days ago, basically. Okay, so if you reserve any book, the last date for placing a hold will be Thursday, 18th of February. So that applies to you and your students. 
And due dates, no items will be given a due date between February 25th and March the 6th. Okay, so basically you probably will have a longer borrowing uh, period. So we'll go after the 6th of March now. And if students want to book their rooms, book rooms in the library, the last date for room booking will be Thursday, 25th of February. Okay. Great. So, and after March the 1st, all links from the existing library catalog on Moodle will need to be changed. <laughs> okay. Right, so obviously that affects just some lecturers who use a lot of the links you know, want their student to access this e-book and that e-journals. Unfortunately, obviously, we changed the library catalogue, so the links won't work. Yeah. So, right, so where can I go if I need help? So if you want help, then ask your subject librarian, and that's me. So if you, if you do have any question about the new library catalogue, come and ask me, and if I don't know, because I'm still learning about the system, as you can see, I'm you know, still trying to find out you know, more things about it, then I can ask the assistant librarian, John Darling, which I think is a, one of the most amazing of librarians that I've ever met, and he seems to know everything about the system, so you know, I can ask him if I don't know the answer. So hopefully, you know, between us, then you know, we'll be able to help you. And we have subject librarians in Carmarthen, Ellen and Alison, and Kathy in London. So, great. And I'm also running four sessions for the students in Lampt on Lampeter campus on the new library catalogue. So, starting next Wednesday at 2 o'clock, 10th of February, 17th, 24th. So, that's before the launch of the new library catalogue. And then on the 9th, of March, that's after the launch, so we will then ask feedbacks, or if there's any problem, we will then be able to, you know, trying to solve or trying to work out what to do. Okay, so you're very welcome to come, if you want to, to come along to one of these sessions. Great, that's it. So, do you have any questions? Mm. Like Aberystwyth or Aberystwyth University. Yeah, or Swansea. Yes, because they are part of the wealth. Yes. So watch the space. The wealth um, catalogue is coming to your way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think that's the beauty of being part of the project. So then, you know, we make the whole, this is a, a, a nationwide project. For all well, for all Welsh universities, um, mm. is it? It's already possible to access the national library collection. Do you know? I don't know which phases they are in. We are the second phase. I know Swansea University. Their 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 data is there, mm -hmm. and our data is now going to be there. But then you got other you know other institutions are waiting to upload their their data, mm -hmm. so they're doing it in stages, and I don't think. I, I don't think anything is available until everybody's there. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you can search and see, but what I have looked at, they're just reflecting our data. So, yeah. We are, yeah. <laughs> Any questions? Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for coming. I hope the session has been useful for you. So, okay. But any problem, just come and find me. <laughs> <laughs>